Hello and welcome to another episode of Linux and Code. Today's episode is going to be part one of a two-part series on Docker. And in this episode, we're just covering installing Docker and Docker Compose. So hopefully not a whole lot of explanation about what they do. That's gonna come in part two where we take a little bit of a deeper dive. So getting started, you would think the easiest way to install Docker on Linux would be to go to their website, hit get started and grab it. They do not have an option by default for Linux, just Mac and Windows. So what are we gonna do instead? Well, we're gonna have to use the command line. The instructions in this are based heavily off of a digital ocean guide. I will link those two articles in the description below. They are specifically created for Ubuntu 18.04, but elementary OS is based on that. So those instructions will work for us as well. So let's get started. First, we're going to do a sudo apt update. Always make sure we have all of our up-to-date packages. Next, we need some extra dependencies. You may already have some of these on your system. You may not. Typing ones that you already have will not hurt your existing system. Once those dependencies are installed, we can proceed to add the Docker key so that we can install the repository itself. We're gonna do that with curl. Now we can add the repository itself since we've added the key. Gonna take a double take here and make sure I've typed that all correctly because that will be a pain to remove otherwise. Looks like we did okay. Run another update. Great, now let's install Docker Community Edition. Now we can check that this has installed correctly a couple of ways. The first is by checking the Docker status in systemctl. Looks like it is active and running. That's what we wanna see. Let's quit out of that with Q. Next, we can actually try to run some stuff with Docker, but first let's give ourselves permission so we don't have to run it as root. That's always a good idea. So sudo user mod-ag, we're adding a group docker to our current user. Now, in order for this to take place, you need to close and reopen your session. If I type id and ng, that should give our groups. But as you can see, docker does not show up here. If we close our session and reopen it and type that command one more time, you see we still do not have it. You need to log out and log back in in order to see this effect. So I'm going to do that and I will be back momentarily. All right, I'm back. So let's open up terminal and rerun our last command. And sure enough, we are now in the Docker group. So we should have permission to do that just fine. So let's make sure our install is finally fully working by running a docker command. If we just run the default docker command, we see a list of everything we can run with it. We're gonna do something very simple here. We're just gonna do a docker run hello world. And this will go grab an image from the docker repository and execute it. And we get this lovely message from that repository. Everything is working correctly, great. We can also run docker images to get a quick list. Looks like we're all good there. Do we have anything running? No. We have our history. We can see we had this container ID. I am going to remove it because I no longer need it. So I'm gonna copy that ID, paste it in. It is gone. Now if we run that Docker PS again, nothing. That is Docker itself. Next, let's do Docker Compose. Clear this terminal up. 
So Docker Compose is going to be much easier to install than just Docker. In fact, we're basically gonna copy paste the command in. Now I have this in some notes off to the side, um, but I will have the link to the guide that this link is from in the description. So you can also copy it yourself so you don't get typos. It's generally safer to do it that way. So that's completed. Now we just need to give that file permission. And as you can see, by the fact that I can now tab complete this, we have Docker Compose. And you can check that even further by doing a dash dash version. Now let's test it really quick. I'm gonna hop over to a projects directory. And I'm going to make what's called a Docker Compose file. If you don't know what that is, I will have another video coming out soon explaining all of these things. But for the sake of brevity, not going to talk about that here. So we're gonna name a service. I'm gonna call it Docker Test. You can name this whatever you like. specify the image that we want to use. So I'm just going to reuse that hello world image that we used in the earlier Docker example, save and close out of that file. And now we can test that Docker compose up. And as you can see, we get our hello from Docker message again. And that is a successful Docker and Docker compose installation. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see something else or want more information on Docker, leave a comment down below. I will be doing another video on this. Have a good day. Take care.